And they had names for some of those raises. They call one Big John Raise. Well, why is it called that? Well, that's where Big John fell. His death <laughs> <laughs> fell down the raise. <laughs> now, how long has that molybdenum mine been operating down there? 1920s. And I know, I know they were digging down there in the, in the <coughs> teens, but <coughs> had they? That, he piled on it first. Didn't he? The yeah. grandfather. They called Grand Brandberg Gulch. My it was hairy. And My mm -hmm. Before I tell you, it was right at, right at the time of World War I. Okay. Because the German uh, guns would fire longer than ours. And they couldn't figure out why until when they analyzed, they found out they were alloyed with molybdenum. Mm. And the Germans had discovered molybdenum, and we weren't aware of the alloy, is what I understand. Mm. And that's, what, that's when molybdenum came. And it did what? It caused them to. Real high strength steel. Uh, real high strength steel. Gears, pistons, engines are made of. Kept them from melting. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I know your mom told a story about Perry, uh, your granddad, a filing on the molybdenum mine. He and somebody else, and I can't remember the other man's name, but when they sent their assays off, mm -hmm. then it all came back. Graphite. Graphite. I just all read that. Stuff, and then they, they thought, well, who wants this? So then they just gave it all up. Mm -hmm. Then somebody else came right, right along behind them. Mm -hmm. and, and I've got a picture, honey, the Wayne Riley sent us of the people that were part, they were part of the original people that found them all. Is that right? Mm -hmm. yeah, and I think he even got the names on the back. Well, that's good. That's good.